with the Windrush scandal, people didn't really know who the Windrush generation were, but we wanted to capture their stories, capture how they came to Britain after World War II to help rebuild our nation. And even though most people associate the Windrush generation with London, many settled here in Wales, and we wanted to capture their stories so that we can all learn from them. This exhibition will be touring Wales um, so people can understand the diversity of Wales and that people have been contributing from all different backgrounds to the economic, cultural and social development of Wales for generations. They've defied all barriers. They've cried in secret, but then they said, I just don't want to exist in North Wales. I want to contribute. I want to do something. I'm here to read about their stories, to learn about the great work they've done here in Wales and in Great Britain at large. We are really grateful and that's why I'm here. I think it's important for me because it enables me to, to be part of the shared history, you know, people who contributed to make this nation what it is today that I enjoy. I thought it was nice to come and pay them homage in that way. The world would not be destroyed by people who do evil, but by people who sit and do nothing. Our parents didn't have this. The Windrush generation didn't have this. Yet they did great things which we remember them for it today. The question is when we go back home, what are we contributing to the world that the next generation will remember us for? My history, the Jamaican history, is very much tied to Wales. My grandfather is actually from a small community where the owners of the family of the Penryn Castle estate, they, they actually used to own the land there. If we can have more people, more black people to come to this, I think it would be better because Wales is, a very, Wales is a very nice place and here we're like families. But thank God things have changed a lot because we as the community, not only the black, but even the locals, see us as we are part of that. You understand? So we have to get rid of all those kind of you know bad mentalities. As Samuel said, we cannot let the bad people do their bad thing without us stopping them. Yes. They alone they cannot do it. But if we sit down with nothing, they will be uh, I came here today to celebrate um, the the past we give the present of today. The effort our ancestors made to make this place what is now we call it the home. It's amazing um, to see that the change started with someone that spoke out and it's amazing to see that there's always something to learn from someone. So I'm glad to be here. So it's great to be here because I I think it's a really important representation of the stories of the communities of Wales um, and stories that could otherwise have been lost. I am very opportune to get the chance to understand and know what it's really about and to thank the people behind it. Not all, not all heroes wear capes, but heroes of this wind rush are of different colours and they've made our lives better. Thank you very much. I just think this is an amazing event to come to, to um, explain the history of Windrush, uh, to understand the situation of how it uh, still persists today in this modern age and to get context and understand diversity and how um, wonderfully, um, the wonderful contributions that people have made to our society within Britain and within Wales. Dan ni'n jyst mor falch o fod wedi gallu crysalwyr ar y ddangosfa ar bennig yma i'r amgeddfolechu. Mae'n braf fod sydd i mynd i bob amgeddfa ar draws Cymru, ond dan ni'n falch iawn o allu crysalwyr pobl gogledd Cymru i fyddi weld sy'n mynd hyn. Mae'n dweud strion ar bennig, strion sy'n ysbrydoli a dwi'n gobeithio y bydd ar ddangosfa, ar strion dan ni'n dweud heno yn ysbrydoli ni'r dyfodol.